Hello and welcome to Color Art Emotion. In this video, I will be sketching many different characters, standing, walking, on the bicycle, or just at a picnic. As I didn't sketch too many people, I will start this exercise with no expectations, besides experimenting and having fun. The intention is to quickly sketch people how it feels on the moment and in a stylized manner, just to make things simpler. I also want to experiment with most of the art supplies that I have around. Fine liners, fountain pens, graphite pencils, watercolor pencils, painting with watercolor, painting directly with the ink, just to see where this takes me. You will see that there isn't any specific order or any step. Sometimes I am sketching, sometimes I am painting. Very spontaneously and how it feels on the moment. And I kept this video in real speed. Now, this first row of people is for warming up. I started with sketching from imagination. I am quickly sketching a few silhouettes without looking at any reference pictures, just moving the pen as it comes naturally on the moment and without overthinking it. When I'm sketching these stylized characters, I'm not necessarily worrying about how they look. They just have to suggest that we see a person. If you see, the legs are not stopping at the same height. One is a bit lower than the other. And this suggests some movement and it's always nice to have dynamic sketches. This one, I like a lot how the hands seem to be inside the pockets. It makes me think about a cold morning. I also like the position of the character. It seems confident and seems to know exactly where he's going. I change to a fountain pen with grey ink and I have a very small bottle of it. I ordered a while ago a few small bottles of different inks, different brands, just to test them for fun. But only this one came until now, so I'm still waiting for the others. If you are new to the channel and enjoy sketching and painting, you are very welcomed to subscribe. And if you are already joining me on this creative journey, thank you very much for all your support and for being around. The first two here didn't turn out very expressive, but I like this third one. He seems to be greeting us. The woman with the bag seems to have jeans or some sort of void pants. I don't like so much how the legs turn out, but it's fine. Here I try to do the legs different with only a line. And now changing again to a pen to a duke for them. It's very nice and it's filled with black waterproof ink. So here I am just catching a woman that seems to be walking. We can see from her dress or maybe her coat.
And this is the last character from this row that is also walking towards left inside the frame. Now it's time to add a bit of color to our characters. As I don't have any specific colors in mind, I'm starting with the first one on the left with yellow, a color that represents joy. And I'm freely adding color, more or less filling the silhouette, also adding a bit of pure red for variance. I choose these colors freely, just how I feel on the moment, the first impulse when looking at my palette. Remember that this is just a fun exercise, a fun experiment, I don't have any specific goals with these sketches. It's more to explore sketching people in a quick and spontaneous way. For the family group to the right, I choose lavender. For me, this is a very calming color and I think this is how we feel close to our dear ones. Calm, relaxed, safe. I also added a bit of rose. My intention was to add it only to the woman, but as the area was wet, the pigment traveled and that is nice. For the next figure, I am using cobalt blue. I guess I am exploring all the colors of my palette. I, I also left a few white areas to suggest that more things are happening there. Some areas are more in the light, some areas are more in the shadow. The next figure is with cobalt turquoise, another color that I think is calming. And the head is painted with red. but. Because there was still a bit of green in the brush, it became more brown. I like how the colors combine on the chest. I think this is a nice combination, red and green, also a bit desaturated. For this character, I didn't know exactly how to paint him, so I just took some color that was left on the palette. It's a combination of many colors that ended up creating a nice grey. And I added some blue on his head. I don't know exactly why. He ended up looking like a knight, which is very unexpected. Okay, do you remember that while sketching I said that this character here seems more confident? Interesting that I chose to paint him with red and this is a very strong personality color. Anyway, as mentioned before, these are very spontaneous sketches. I am just having fun picking up whatever color I feel like and this is the best part because there aren't any constraints, only gestures of the moment. So, now we have a blue character that doesn't have white spots at all, unpainted areas, but he looks okay. This one that is greeting us turned out being yellow and happy. And now we have a pink character, and I like this warm peachy pink. It was simply made with white gouache and a bit of red. The 
These last two characters of the row are done with watercolor graphite pencils. I am first filling a few areas with these watercolor pencils and then coming over with a brush with clean water. And I actually like how the one on the right turns out. Now back to sketching to the second row, because we have to fill up the paper in order to get many different characters at the end. This time I was looking at a few references, but very quickly, more to give me an idea of how should they stand, what should they do. We can actually call them inspiration photos and not reference photos. I looked at them for a few seconds and then just sketched from memory. My intention wasn't to obtain a realistic sketch. As you can see in this first sketch from the second row, the silhouettes are only suggesting a bit the position of the girls from the reference. They are only quick and spontaneous sketches. The next sketch is with a guy, relaxed, just walking around the city and keeping his jacket over his shoulder. The next one turned out to be one of my favorites. It's with a man carrying his suitcase, wearing a white t-shirt and short pants. I think the fact that I managed to sketch the shoulders and the hips having opposite orientation helps in making the walking seem more real. The next two figures represent a couple walking around, enjoying their holiday. They, they both have hats to protect themselves from the hot summer sun. As you can see, now I changed again the pen from the fine liner to the Duke Fude pen. I thought maybe the sticker line fits better with the bigger scale of the characters. This figure is a woman walking, seen from the back. I like how her shoulders turned out in the sketch, but I messed it up a bit at her legs. But I'm fine with this, the purpose is not about realistic sketches anyway.
This character with the backpack turned out also very stylized. It's funny that this next character was actually done in 30 seconds. In the picture we can see her from the back. In the sketch not quite sure if it's from the back or from the front. I also tried to sketch with colored pencils, but I didn't like the feeling on the moment. I guess I got more used to watercolors. Now it's again time to add quick watercolor washes over the sketches. Sometimes I kept in mind the colors from the reference photos and sometimes not. For example, for the woman with the backpack I also chose red, but for the first two girls I didn't look at the colors from the inspiration photo. For the man with the suitcase I like the combination of turquoise shorts and white t-shirt. For the couple with the hats I used the same colors, French ultramarine combined with burnt sienna for her top and for his pants. For the woman to the right, that we don't know for sure in our sketch if she's with the front or with the back, I also liked her turquoise clothes, so I kept the color. But this is more because I felt like this on the moment. You don't have to constrain yourself to using the color that you see. I'll let you enjoy the coloring process and come back at sketching the cyclists.
Now it's time to sketch a few cyclists. In the first inspirational reference, we can see a cyclist. His bike is leaning a bit to the left. Probably he is going quite fast or he is in a curve. I started with my Lamy Safari with grey ink, but soon switched to a thicker fountain pen. I thought maybe in this way I can sketch faster. I started with the bike itself, with the wheels, that appear to have an elliptic shape from this angle. What I noticed while sketching these bikes is that the distance between the wheels is smaller than the diameter of a wheel. So a tip is not to sketch the wheels too far away from each other. In the next sketch, we can see a woman crossing the street. We see her frontally. She is not riding the bike, but she keeps it close to her. And I describe this to you because this is how my process is. First, I take a look at the picture. Then, I keep in mind these facts. And then, I'm trying to sketch from memory. And the wheels again appear to have an elliptic shape. The next situation is with a cyclist waiting for the green light, waiting to cross the street. And we look, we look at him from one side, almost perpendicular. So, in this situation, the wheels have a circular shape. He carries a big backpack that is pink. His jacket is also pink. I think he works for a food delivery company that is very pink. I started with a light sketch and then went over with a food pen to have thicker lines. In this scene over here, we have a different type of bike, with smaller wheels, but I still think it's a city bike. Anyway, I started with the small wheels, then continued with the rest of the bike, and at the end with placing the figure. I also tried to add a few lines with a colored pencil, but again didn't like so much the outcome. And if I think again, I actually like it. This is the last bike and I like a lot the shape of the shadow.
Now it's time to color the sketches as well. This time I tried something new. I tried painting with ink, just dipping a small brush directly into the ink bottle and then painting with it as with watercolor. I like this grey color a lot. It is a very pearlish pink grey. I also added a few dark brush strokes with black ink, again just dipping the brush directly in the bottle and painting with it as with watercolor. The rest of the cyclists were painted with watercolor. I kept the pink for the backpack, but the rest of the colors were chose on the moment. And now I'll let you enjoy this part and come back when sketching the picnic groups. And now I'll let you enjoy the rest of this part and come back when sketching the groups of people having picnic.
I wanted to try sketching directly with the brush and I actually started with ink. In the first scene, we can see a group of three friends just relaxing under the sun, sitting on a rock and maybe having a nice conversation. I started with a very simple sketch, only with a few brush strokes, and then decided to give them a background. And for the background, I used French Ultramarine, but at the beginning the brush was too small. I also tried to add some splashes with a toothbrush to try something new, but in this situation it didn't have a strong effect. I also made the edges of the background softer by adding more water and removing some paint with a paper towel. In the next scene, we see a bigger group having fun, actually having a picnic in the old square from Bruxelles. We visited this square last year during summer and it was always full of people that were sitting on the square. It was a very, very cozy place. Here, I am sketching with a food pen and after that just coming over with a bit of watercolor. Here we can see all our quick and fun sketches. I couldn't stop myself to come over once again with a thin fine liner just to hatch a little bit here and there and to suggest a few more details. But I've speeded up a bit this part because the video ended up being quite long. Let me know if you've enjoyed this video and if you have further questions, suggestions or any other thoughts. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Have fun, take care and see you in the next video.